key thing is to make sure you're setting up your search um, in the right way is the first thing and secondly to develop good search strings to put together the right sets of words to find the outcome that you're looking for. In terms of settings, so you should go to the settings function on the search engine you're using. Most people will be using Google and there's a number of different settings that you can change there. First of all, make sure that you're in the right region. So if you're doing research on America, you should be using .com. If you're doing research on France, you should be using .fr. You can control the number of results you get to the page. Generally for our work, you're, um, you want to look at um, a wide range of results. So we tend to set it to a higher number, say 100 results. Uh, you can search by relevance or timeliness. So that can change. Uh, depending on the nature of the research you're doing, but generally for business research, you'll be searching uh, by relevance. And then uh, another thing that you should be aware of is searching in, in uh, the, the first language. So searching, you know, if you're doing French uh, research into the French market, by all means search using English search terms, uh, but then uh, translate them into French and search using local language because a lot of information relevant to local markets is only available in the, in the local language. Um, you'll then need to use Google Translate to understand those findings. You can make a decent amount of progress doing that. If you need to get more detailed and more uh, nuanced information, you'll need to use um, uh, people with local language skills uh, for, for a given project. So at my company, we have a network of um, consultants based all over the world to help us with local uh, uh, research into, in particular countries and in particular languages. So that's uh, one of the primary sources and one that I think everyone's familiar with.